Well, a passionate young filmmaker is using his talent to showcase the beauty of the traditional Latin mass in a three-part documentary, and it couldn't be more timely. Church Militant's Christine Chrislieb gives a sneak preview of the filmmaker and his project. If I knew this motu proprio was coming out on July 16th, I would have started to make this documentary series that we're making, but we've been in production for two years on this, so uh, yeah, it's amazing how things are lining up. The documentary series to which filmmaker Cameron O'Hearn refers is Mass of the Ages. The first film in the trilogy premieres virtually on YouTube on Sunday, August 15th, on the Feast of the Assumption. The convergence of a film promoting the Latin Mass with Pope Francis's new limits on the old right might be called providential. O'Hearn wants to introduce ordinary Catholics who've never experienced a Latin Mass to its unique beauty. We, we don't want to feature the Mass of the Ages, the most beautiful thing in the universe, with just any old camera or just any old microphone. We want to really give it our best. The filmmaker believes the most effective way to reach the most people is through film. People like us who love the traditional Latin Mass will pick up a book on it and read about it or will read an article about it. But what about the biggest block of Catholics who, who do have all these misconceptions about the Latin Mass? Well, a film, and especially a documentary, is packaged in such a way where it can inspire the audience and intrigue them, draw them in. O'Hearn used Kickstarter and a $77,000 goal to get the ball rolling. He nearly tripled his goal. The film, premiering Sunday, addresses a lot of misconceptions about the Latin Mass. A lot of Catholics believe that the new Mass kind of rolled off the shelf at Vatican II. Um, but there's actually a really important period of about five years where this committee put together by Pope Paul VI um, assembled the, the new mass. And another misconception is a lot of people out there actually believe that the new mass and the Latin mass are the same, just in different translations. The second film in the trilogy, scheduled for release at the end of the year, will investigate the near extinction of the Latin mass after Vatican II. The final film will look at the future of the Latin Mass. When asked what he learned from making the film, O'Hearn said, contrary to the claims that the Latin Mass is divisive, he encountered joyful people who'd found something beautiful for their families. Christine Chrisley, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. That looks so beautiful. People interested in being part of Sunday's premiere can go to theliturgy.org and sign up to get notified about it. Again, go to theliturgy.org and click the purple Get Notified button.